No, you're going down, no, dude. No, no, you're no. in my backyard now, no, dude. I am in your backyard. I'm not used to all this stuff up here in Arkansas that much. But hey, I tell you what, I picked my warm down last year on a deal like that. You know, I take Scott Rook down, dude. Let's get after it right yeah. now, dude. Willow trees, plastic bait, we'll do a little Berkeley action on them. That's all right. Berkeley, yeah. yeah. I know when we get these boats, dude, we're not friends no more until we hit the bank. That's fine with me, dude. It's all on that. It's all like Donkey Kong. I heard that. This thing airs and all your buddies in Arkansas say, man, an old Florida boy smoked you here in Arkansas? He can sing it, but can he bring it? Hey, he's up there brushing his hair or something. I get him, caught him on a bank, I'll get the best fishing spot. You know, I've never been on this lake, so it's it's uh, it's all new. Take into consideration the, the weather conditions. It's October. Uh, the fish should be shallow. We got uh, good staying water. Uh, that should keep the fish shallow, so that's where I'm going to start looking at shallow. The first thing I'm looking at is, is visible cover, maybe key on some of this uh, isolated pieces of butt brush out here and see if we can't figure out where they are. you really got to pay attention to your first bite when you come to a new place and really key you in on what depth those fish are holding at, uh, what type of cover, and how close to that cover. The wind's blowing to the far end of this lake here. Scott started up on this, some of this submerged brush up here on the, on the point of it, which could be really good. But we're going to go back to the back wall back here. And um, the wind's pushing, you know, whatever bait's in here, the wind's pushing most of it to the back. So let's go back here. We're going to start off going a spare bait, and then we're going to get out our plastic and start pitching, pitching a lot of these bushes. What I'm fishing is a Berkeley Power tube. I'm using a 5 16th ounce weight, 20 pound line. And I like a big weight with that with that tube. It gives it a more erratic fall. When it comes over one of those branches, it knocks down real quick. And what you get is a reaction strike out of these fish. Fish are in for feeding on Chad real heavy. I'm trying to, again, try to imitate what you're feeding on, and it's a little tough. Dig through your tackle box, you can try a lot of different lures. I'm throwing a Berkeley too. I'm going to try this little liquid spray bait. It's a little gold minnow. I have not found the secret lure yet. Good. Good. Going down, Scott Martin. You're going down. That's what I'm talking about. That fish hammered it. It hit that hammer. These fish are being difficult. How many you got, Scott? I got nil right now. None. Zero. Zilch. I caught one small one while ago. He won't keep, though. There he is. See, that was it. I just kind of switched around. Yes. Now that's cool. Now, if this works, I'm going to catch a lot of fish right here. You know, everybody thinks that when you fish a small lake like this, that you just catch them on any lure that's in your tackle box, but it's not true. Lures are tools, and you got to have the right lures for the right situation. I start off with a big spinnerbait, threw it around there a lot. I've made one cast of that smaller spinnerbait and caught a fish. It's not very big, but I might have, might have figured out something here. They have holes underneath them, maybe it's a box or something. I don't know. Turn my head talking and he got it. That was a keeper, isn't it? Going down, Scott Martin. 